I asked 30,000 people to do something and they did it. That thing was ranking every admiral and admiral candidate in one piece. And the results will be some sort of hyperbole. But statistically speaking, I can guarantee that most of you will not believe who came first. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. My name is Liam and when I was in high school, I pronounced the word hyperbole as hyperbole. But today we are here to discuss the great counterpart of fictional pirates being fictional Marines. Seamen, if you will. But I'm not just interested in any old seaman. I don't know, I'm interested in these ones. Because we are here to rank every admiral in one piece, but you know how this goes. I'm not interested in the opinions of one dude in one room. Instead, I need the opinions of thousands of dudes in thousands of rooms. 32,005 to be precise, all of whom took the challenge of ranking every admiral in the series. Important note time though. This ranking consisted not only of current admirals, but also past admirals, marines who have had the chance to become admirals, and even one non-canon admiral. Yeah, I say the word Admiral a lot in there. It's, it's, just, it's starting to lose all meaning to me. Admiral, Admiral. Admiral, 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 Ad, Admiral. It's all, it's all just noise to me now. In any case, I've spent a lot of time analyzing what people think of fictional seamen, so please do justify my life choices by subscribing to the Grand Line Review, which will also result in consistent injections of One Piece culture administered directly into your YouTube feed. I'll also be taking suggestions for the next poll directly from subscribers in the comments, and I happen to know which ones of you are subscribed due to this fancy red icon that YouTube shows me, haha. Uh -huh. So don't think you can fool me, you cannot. But to get into our delight, list here today, we are going to start with 11th and unceremoniously last place contender, Chaton. Who's Chaton you say? I thought we were going to be ranking admirals. Well, just, just hold on because we are. Chaton is actually a fan-made character who Echiro Oda threw into the canon of One Piece for some reason. Tokikake is his real name, but Chaton is an epithet that means brown pig. And after Sakazuki was promoted and Kuzan, well, Kuzan effed off, Chaton was on the verge of being given the coveted admiral position. Thinking about it, he is quite possibly the most powerful joke character to have ever existed in One Piece. But he still seems highly underappreciated due to his average score of 2.48. Average score, what does that mean? Well, that's a good question. Me? To explain, this was a ranked choice poll, meaning that if we had a survey featuring Zoro, Zami, and Zonji, then the character you put in first place would receive three points, second place two points, and you can do the last one yourself because you're clever and I believe in you. But we then repeat that process roughly 32,000 more times to get an average score and Bam, that is how we rank fictional semen. And given that there are 11 candidates in this poll, the TLDR is that the closer one's average score is to 11, then the better they did. And Chaton is very far away from that number. However, I would like to give a special shout out to all 44 people, 44 out of 32,000, who decided to rank Chaton in first place. You have strange tastes, but good on all of you. Moving to 10th now, we discover a mighty Kong, almost certainly the oldest character on this list, although his age is currently unknown. However, when we Met Kong, his position was commander in chief, although he was the fleet admiral prior to Sengoku, meaning that he was an admiral prior to that. Nobody cares though, in fact, I can statistically prove that nobody cares. Because Kong is the character who received by far the most last place votes. Over a quarter of all Grand Fleet members dumped Kong in the poorly funded retirement home of last place. However, to his credit, he did manage to achieve more than three times the first place votes that Chaton did. I don't know though, I mean, what's three times practically zero? Well, the the answer is actually in Kong's name because it is still a big fat O. But the Admiral train must now continue, choo choo, as we stop at the station to pick up our ninth place finisher, Momo Usagi, who is a lot like Chaton actually because she's also a fan-made character who Oda turned into canon. And just like her brown pigum comrade, she was also a candidate to become an Admiral following the Paramount War. And looking at her leg, I'm also fairly certain she's a member of the Phantom Troop, which is a reference to something that is not One Piece, which is very bad of me, that's, that's not allowed. Momo Usagi is an epithet that means pink rabbit, and she actually hasn't done too badly here at all because in terms of last place votes, she completely blows Kong and Chaton out of the Admiral infested waters by receiving a mere 2,500 ticks of ultimate disapproval. However, unfortunately, what really seals her fate is the unstoppable glob of votes from eighth to 10th place, which is where a massive 75% of all voters decided that Momo Usagi belonged. So there is a clear consensus that Momo Usagi is definitely not the least 
next most popular admiral candidate. Did I say that right? But once we've decided who we hate the most, Momo Usagi very much ends up being the next victim in the brutal, brutal world of online surveys. But now it's time to appreciate our next marine guy thing, who is Black Arm Zephyr from One Piece Film Z, who is admittedly a non-canon admiral, but he is captivating nonetheless. Film Z is still my favorite One Piece movie, and it has a lot to do with this guy. In my opinion, he's the most memorable One Piece film antagonist, and he's actually performed pretty well here, all things considered. Although I suspect his non-canon nature has clearly hurt his performance quite a bit, because almost 17 and a half percent of all people did place him in dead last. However, his middle game stats definitely make up for that uh, a bit. Also, he has purple hair, which was very cool until Charlotte Cracker made it less cool. To seventh now, and we have an admiral who is almost a pure question mark, and it is Ryukugyu, or Green Bull, whatever you wanna call him. And he's very interesting because he's one of the few candidates who ended up pretty much exactly where he belongs. His biggest concentration of votes was in seventh place with 28.69% of all people telling themselves, I know nothing about this guy, but he's still probably better than the pig, the rabbit, the gorilla, and the non-canon arm cannon guy. I legitimately think that was the thought process. I know him and I don't know them. Therefore the him gets the win. Like all fully fledged admirals, I imagine he'll be fairly amazing when we do get to know him. But right now let's just have a little bit of justice for Zephyr here because he actually received more first place votes than Ryokugyu. Meaning that if this was our standard boring one option, press the button and go away kind of poll, then Green Bull would have dropped down a spot. Not that I think most people would care because let's be honest, the real competition starts now. And it all begins very shockingly for me with Akainu in sixth place. And this is just like, like, wow. Because yeah, I know that Sakazuki is not the most popular guy in the world because a long time ago, I discovered that trying to make him the focus of any video leads to a massive drought of clicks, but he is arguably potentially the most relevant admiral. So I thought that might carry him a little bit higher. But Mr. Sakazuki here probably has the strangest set of numbers to analyze in this entire poll. Opinions are clearly very, very mixed because his two highest tally numbers are six and last place, which have 19 and 17% respectively. So people are either like, yeah, Sakazuki's all right. Or they're like, I hate Sakazuki, that Hawaiian shirt wearing ace killing beard growing mother. But astoundingly few people are in the camp of I love Sakazuki, which I do find a bit odd for such a prominent villain, because even if you truly hate them, there tends to be a you love to hate them sort of effect going on. But not in this case. I mean, there are a rare few. He did get 1,374 first place votes, which is a lot compared to everyone we've examined so far, but he is demonstrably lacking when compared to the top four. But what comes before four? Well, it's five. Actually, five usually comes after four, but not in this case, because instead of going up, we are going right down to Sengoku Town, a small village that sustains itself on rice crackers and goat farming. But we've got some pretty wild statistics here because Sengoku received less than half of the first place votes that Sakazuki did. However, Sakazuki took in 70 times, at 17, not 17, 70 times the amount of last place votes that Sengoku got. In total, only 80 people put Sengoku in last place, which is, it's frankly astonishing. There is only one admiral on this list who received less last place votes than Sengoku. That's just how solidly not unpopular he is. But he also completely thrashes Sakazuki in almost every other field as well, with Sengoku's strongest base of support spawning from the fourth to sixth place range. And just to clarify, because I know there will be comments, there are always comments, Sengoku is here because he's a former fleet admiral, which means that he would have been an admiral earlier in his life, but now he's an inspector general, which I believe is a made up job to give Sengoku something to make himself feel relevant relevant after retiring. There. I said it. But for someone who is not retired or even a tire, it is Kizaru, which is easily the worst transition I've ever done. Probably not the worst I ever will do though, if that's any consolation. But now, exciting news. Because Kizaru is our first admiral to show a really solid support base with 35% of all voters selecting him as somewhere between first and third. And what's more astounding is that less than 10% of all Grand Fleet members put Kizaru anywhere between seventh to 11th. The thing that concerns me the most is that we never know quite what Kizaru is thinking. Every other admiral has a fairly clear agenda. Ryukugyu wants to be fed by beautiful women, Kuzan wants to sleep, and Sakazuki wants to murder the living crap out of you. But what does Kizaru want? All he ever does is stare at you with that concerning open mouth smile, as if he's some sort of alien attempting to mimic human behavior. But he kicks people and I like that, so I like him. We've made it to the podium now and winning a bronze medal in admiralism is Fujitora. And he has essentially 
doubled Kizaru's first place votes with a whopping 18.18% of Grand Fleet members, showing some love for our Lavender legend, and 64% overall, shoving him somewhere between first and third. And not only that, but Fujitora has the honor of being the Admiral who received the least amount of last place votes. Only 51 people out of 32,000 saw fit to plonk Fujitora in 11th position. So he's quite the popular man boy, but my question with Fujitora has always been, why did he blind himself? And I don't have the answer to this, so I did that thing I do when I don't have the answer, which is to ask all of you to answer for me. And we've picked one of these responses at random. So until further notice, the reason why Fujitora blinded himself is, like all great swordsmen, he fell down the stairs. Fair enough, I buy it. And I'm also starting to think that Mihawk might be the user of the stair stair nomi, a domestic type Zoan fruit that allows him to transform into stairs and a human stairs hybrid, the ultimate counter to every swordsman. What were we talking about though? Oh yeah, admirals, that's right, that's what we were doing. But now we have but two but admirals remaining, and the silver medal will rather appropriately be worn by our swall silver fox, Monkey D. Garp. And this is where things get pretty wild because first and second were so unbelievably close. But Garp received exactly 37% of all first place votes, 37%. And almost 75% of all voters placed him somewhere between first and third. And I have to immediately jump into first place now because this is statistical shenaniganry. The gold medalist and winner of this poll is Aokiji, whose first place votes are sorely, sorely lacking compared to Garp's. And this is a situation where the margin was so razor thin, that it was literally a few hundred people who made all of the difference here. Almost 78% of all people ranked Kuzan somewhere between first and third, which is about three percentage points higher than Garp spread over those positions. However, what also makes all the difference here are the lower sections. When it comes to sixth to 11th place, Garp has slightly more votes in every single one of those sections, meaning that Kuzan is picking up very valuable points in these lower regions, whilst Garp is losing out on them. In this case for Garp, his victory was very much stopped due to a death by a thousand tiny cut scenario. But if this was a basic poll, then Garp would have been far and away crowned our winner. And not only that, but no one else would have even come close to touching his dominance. But when rank choice comes into it, as it turns out, Kuzan is actually on average more popular than Garp. And as such, he is the crowning champion of our entire cohort of admirals. But if you have a suggestion for what you want to see in the next poll, then subscribe to the channel, leave your idea in the comments, and I'll probably do it, maybe. And then go and watch another video like, like this one, which is also about One Piece, because there's always more to learn, explore, and experience in this wonderful series. So I look forward to seeing you there.